Gemini just got better and now you can use it in Google Sheets for finance and data analysis. Welcome to this video. I am Christian Martinez and a couple of days ago, Google updated us that they are bringing Python and Gemini to Google Sheets. So in this video, I want to show you a few different ways that you can use it for finance and financial planning and analysis. So let's go to the examples. Let's imagine that you have a Google Sheet that you can and want to do financial analysis for different stocks. So now you can just go to Google Sheets and ask Gemini. You click the bottom above and the Gemini pane will appear. In here, it already gives you a summary of the content and some example prompts. But let's say that we want to generate a formula that uses Google Finance to get market capitalization. Now, Gemini will start to think about it and then give you the formula in order to get this market capitalization. You can copy and paste the formula into here and then start to use it with different stock tickers. So let's try it with Google. Now I have preload already some formulas in here for us to get the PE ratio and the beta as well. And a couple of graphs in order for us to analyze the data either for 12 months, 36 months, three months, and so on and so on. Now, another good way to use Gemini would be if we want to get some stock tickers similar to Google. So we can add in here Now, there are a couple of ways that you can use Gemini to start adding the stock tickers in here. If Gemini's knowledge doesn't work on its own, you can also use retry with Google search. So we click that button and then it will give us the results with Google search. For example, here it gives us Amazon, Apple, and so on. So we can type the symbols in here. And we will start getting the stock names, the prices and the price changes in the right side. Now, all of these are Google Finance formulas that you can also get with Gemini. Now, I want to give you a couple more examples. Let's say that we want to create a budget for marketing expenses for quarter four. So I'll just go ahead and clear the history of Gemini and copy this prompt. Now, Gemini can create tables for us. So when we prompt it like this, it will start creating a table that you can see here. And if you agree with the content of the table, you just go and click insert. Now, what this will do is we'll create all of this table using Gemini's LLM. Now, you can also use it with your data. So let's say that we have a column A in here, year and revenue, and we want to create this three year revenue forecast. So I'll put my prompt in here, and I'm telling it that my data is in cells B7 to C17. Now, as you can see in here, it's creating my new table with the revenue forecasts and I will go and hit insert. Similarly, it will also can calculate variances between budgets and actuals. So I'll go ahead and paste up this prompt in here. And 
and it can give me the formula that I want to use here. Now, I want to give you a couple more examples. So copy this prompt, and let's say that we have another Google Sheet with a Gantt chart. That is a typical chart used for project management. Now, let's imagine that we want to do the duration between these tasks, and we want to generate a formula for this. Well, we can paste this prompt on helping the formula to get the number of days between this column and this column. And it will type the formula for us in here. Now, after we get the formula, then we can just copy the formula and paste it here. And drag the formula across to get the duration. Another example is if you have another Google Sheet, let's say with your monthly budgets, and you want to analyze this table. Well, another way that you can use Gemini in here is by selecting the table and then asking Gemini to summarize the content of this table. And as you can see, it has the summary appearing in here. Now, there are a couple more updates from Google as well. So you can also ask Gemini in Google Sheets to share insights and trends from your data. Now, with this, Gemini will be using Python code directly in Google Sheets in order to create this analysis for us. Now, this analysis can be text-based, as you can see in there, or also analyze for insights in a visual way. If you want to visualize the data, let's say with a chart or bar graph, then you can tell it to create this chart for you or to create the formulas to create this chart for you as well. Now, those are the several ways that you can use Gemini AI for financial data analysis. Thanks for watching and tell me in the comments if you find one of these use cases more useful than the others and if you want me to demonstrate other use cases for us. Thanks for watching.